on March 30th, 2011, my father was hit and killed by a texting driver by the name of Brian Patrick Bunting out of Gainesville, Florida. Uh, Brian Patrick Bunting was, I believe, on CMT's television show Gainesville, which I just recently found out. Uh, at the time, Florida had a very weak, distracted driver's law. Um, he was not arrested. He was cited uh, the following February for $1,000. My family sued him and settled out of court for around $100,000 and it was just hardly appropriate. Um, now, in 2013, the law has changed. Uh, the penalties are worse than DUI. But only if uh, the driver, um, when he's distracted and driving from texting, if it results in injury or death. The penalties are worse than texting and driving. Or are worse, rather, than DUI. Um, what I want people to know is that you think, oh, I'm only taking my eyes off the road for a second. Okay, let's do the math. At 45 miles an hour, five seconds, your eyes are off the road. You travel approximately 350 feet, and you're not looking at the road, or you're looking up and down, up and down. You can kill someone. And in some states, you can do five years, ten, if it's bad enough. But you have to live with the, fa with the fact for the rest of your life that you killed someone. That you have basically are guilty of murder. Because you couldn't wait to text and drive. You couldn't put your phone down and say, Hey, I'm going to pull over to the side of the road and I'm going to text from the side of the road. People still do it. There's stuff all over the internet. There's stuff all over the news. Texters hitting and killing people. And people still do it. The Ghost Bike Program at ghostbikes.org sets up white painted bicycles for bicyclists that have been killed by car accidents. I'm not aware of my father getting one. I'm still working on getting... Uh, that set up for him because at ghostbikes.org there is no record so here's what I ask you to do make a donation not to me to a GoFundMe page where all the money goes to ghost bikes and whatever is left over also goes to the Arizona Bicycle or the Bicycle Association the, the Bicycle Club and not only is, is a little bit of it going to set up a ghost bike in my father's name, but the rest goes to keep setting up ghost bikes in the name of those who died. So the site is gofundme.com slash money for the dead. Four is F-O-R, not a number. So a dollar, five dollars, whatever you can spare. Because in the end, this isn't for me. This is for people who were hit and killed by texting drivers. If you ever had someone who died by a texting driver, on a bicycle or not, if you've ever had somebody who uh, yourself or somebody else who you know who was texting and driving and had a near miss or hurt and killed someone or hurt, just almost hurt somebody, make a donation. Because texting and driving kills people. It's worse than driving drunk. At least when you're drunk, you can see the road, sort of. When you're texting and driving, it's 350 feet. You're not even looking. You might as well be blindfolded. People need to stop this. Life is much, much more important than five seconds of, hey, I need to send this message right now. Really? You can't pull over to the side of the road because it's inconvenient. Lives matter. Texting doesn't.